for everybody. I missed y'all, man. I missed y'all. Oh, man. Oh. <laughs> How y'all doing? How y'all doing? I uh, miss y'all faces. Ryan Lewis, New York Post. Uh, welcome to New York. Welcome back. Uh, I'm curious, uh, specifically, these are separate, but uh, for you, Brendan, I'm just curious what kind of conversations you may have had with anybody on the coaching staff just about how they plan on using you, five, four, what have you. And in Cam's case, what what kind of, for lack of a better term, homework did they give you, you know, to get in the lab in the summer and work on, like, what kind of directives did they give you to say, all right, listen, for you to get kind of playing time and consistent time that you would want, we need to see A, B, and C. When you do A, B, and C, then your playing time will be good. I'll go first. Uh, yeah, honestly, I've been told nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't been told nothing. So, I mean, the only thing I, they told me was just, you know, get my body right. Obviously, that's, you know, that's something I want to do anyway this summer, just get my body right, get stronger. I uh, put on a lot of muscle this summer, so I feel good. I feel real good. And uh, as far as, like, being on the court and stuff, I ain't been told nothing. <laughs> uh, yeah, to answer your question, uh, you no, know, I pretty much talked to uh, Coach Jock uh, just about, you know, what the positions I played in Portland and, uh, you know, being a – being a versatile guy that, uh, you know, that can do multiple things at multiple positions at the four and the five. So, uh, you know, I wouldn't say that, you know, that he necessarily talked to me about putting me at just one position. Uh, you know, I think uh, my, you know, my uh, my best attributes is just being able to play both positions and being able to play, uh, you know, do multiple things, so. Evan Barnes, Newsday. Um, both you guys being LSU guys, I guess, Cam, when you heard that the team signed Trenton, kind of what what went through your mind? Were you excited to have another uh, LSU guy around? Oh yeah, no, it's definitely good to have you know an old teammate I used to play with on the team. Uh, he uh, texted me when he was here. I was like, "What the world? What are you doing here? <laughs> what, are you, what, what you doing there?" And then, uh, but then he was like, "He's signing and stuff." So it was good, you know. It's good to have him have him back, have him around. You know, it's always good vibes. So you know, I'm gonna be playing with him again. And then Trenton, for you, obviously. Not just Cam, but Ben's here too. So does it kind of feel like LSU North, I guess? Uh, yeah. Uh, like you know, what I'm saying just being back with Cam. Uh, you know, who's roommates in college, teammates in college. So, uh, just being back with a guy that I'm used to, and uh, you know, a guy that I know how to play with, and uh, you know, having another LSU guy with being in being in a being in a locker room uh, is great. And uh, you know, we have a lot of conversations, and uh, you know, I'm taking uh, my school over, taking our school over anybody else's. So, so, so. Melissa Yang Nets, um, how have you seen each other both grow since you last played together? Yeah, just uh, Trent being in Portland, um, him just always being ready when his opportunities call. I see whenever he gets in, he always produces at a high level. You know, people be like, I'm like, yeah, that's just what Trent do. He going, you know, board up, uh, make plays for others, and obviously score, you know. And then plus, his three-point shots got really well, got real good since I last seen him at LSU. So, I feel like he's, you know, worked on his game a lot, and he's gotten real better, and I'm proud of him, and I'm just glad he's here with us now. Uh, yeah, uh, just seeing Cam in Brooklyn the last two years, uh, you know, with him, you know, sometimes in the rotation, sometimes out, you know, he stays ready, and, uh, you know, I think that was the that was the biggest uh, biggest thing that I've seen. You know, he's always ready to go. You know, obviously he's one of the, you know, the best scorers I've played with, and, uh, you know, just seeing him stay professional and stay ready, and, uh, you know, I think he's, you know, taking – Big leaps on both ends of the floor, and uh, you know he's added even playmaking, playmaking to his arsenal. So uh, you know, just seeing his game develop over the last two years uh, while I was in Portland, it's been great to watch. Peter Splendorio, New York Daily News. Um, speaking of that development, Cam, just how do you kind of envision your role this year? How do you think you fit into this specific team? Yeah, honestly, um, I don't really have an answer for you for that. That's um, that's on the coaches, and then, you know, how they going to use me. But I'm always ready to play. I'm just going to play my game. However, however they want to use me, that's what I'm going to do, whether it's playing more of the point guard role or being, you know, in my same role, scoring, coming in, scoring, being being that energy spark as far as getting the, getting the buckets for the team when we're, like, a little flat. But honestly, whatever role he want to use me in, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm just staying ready at all times. Cam, yeah, I guess following up on that, how – how do you kind of manage last year's? Like, obviously the highs were high, and then obviously being out of the rotation. How do you, how did you manage that in the off season? Try to like learn from that, but also how do you bring that spirit into this year? Trying to figure out like what that consistent role could be for you. Yeah, obviously, um, I had you know, 
one of the highest of the season uh, with my three forty point game. So obviously you look back on that, and you want to you know keep building on that. And then you know a few weeks later, you're not in rotation. It's tough. So I really just want to in this summer. I just really just want to take a lot of the positives I had from last season, keep building on it. Obviously, you know I, w I looked at the weaknesses and what stuff I can just get better at, and I want to improve on that just so I can be on the floor a little more. So obviously. You know, I'm just, I'm just staying level-headed this year, you know, whatever the role is, you know, I'm happy to play it. So, you know, there's always room for improvement, honestly. Cam, you've been in Brooklyn a few years now. I'm back here, sorry. Um, what's like the most Brooklyn thing that's happened to you? Has anyone been like, hey, I'm walking here, like a weird milk and a latte? <laughs> nah, the only thing is when I be walking, again, you know, me and my mom, we walk to the store a little bit. And then people be yelling from their cars, yo, Cam, can you Cam, get buckets? Yeah, I'm looking like, yo. like, and I got my hoodie on. So I'm like, how you know that's me? <laughs> I'm looking like, how you know that's me? I have my hoodie on and stuff, so I can be a little a little low, stay low, so nobody say nothing to me in public. But then they be like, yo, Cam, Cam, Cam. I'm just like, yo. <laughs> I'm just like. <laughs> it's a good time. Yeah, it's a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> Follow up that long pause. Um, Cam, Jake Fisher with the Iowa Sports. You talked about your LSU teammates. Excuse me. Um, has there been a big difference you've seen with Ben being back this year now that he's healthy? Has there been any, like, a particular sequence on, on the court the last couple of weeks that stands out to you, something that kind of shows where he's at now after kind of a year away? Yeah, honestly, he just looks more explosive. Um, he just looks more explosive than last year as far as, like, Getting the ball in transition, that's the main thing I've seen different from him. When he gets in transition, he's he goes. Last year he was a little timid, I guess, you know, his injuries. He didn't want to really tweak anything. But this year he's full go in transition, and that's what we need this year. You know, him defending on both ends and him getting the rebound pushing because it just helps our team and it helps our break. So I've really seen that from him in the offseason so far. Hi, Sherry Taylor, New York Beacon. Um, you mentioned weaknesses from last year. What were some of those things that you wanted to work on? I wouldn't really call them weaknesses, just stuff I got to do more of or, like, you know, and plus that comes with just playing, doing a little bit more as far as, you know, the playmaking aspect. But I feel like that, that aspect of it is more, like, required on the game, like what the game requires. So I feel like most of the time when I come in, people want me to score. They want me to score the ball, put the ball on the hoop, provide that spark to get us going. I feel like that's really the main thing. But this year, if I have a more prominent role, obviously I'm going to add that because, you know, that's just something I want to do, I want to work on. And obviously playing on both ends, both ends a little bit. So, you know, that's, that's pretty the main thing. <laughs> 